Bay Area Muslims are challenging the hate of this pastor and others who follow him. They are calling for Saturday to be a national day of unity and healing. As Fox 13's Tanya Arjuna shows us, they're calling on the Muslim community to remain calm. It is the holy Muslim book, the Quran. Ramsey Kilich, a member of the Council on American Islamic Relations, says it promotes peace as he read a verse. Evil and good are not equivalent. Repel that which is evil with that which is good. Kilich believes and, uh, most people disagree with Pastor battle. Jones' plan to burn the Quran on the anniversary of September 11th. But it's the few that do agree who worry him. We realize that the pastor, Terry Jones, represents um, fringe elements. However, uh, history shows that fringe, fringes can do a lot of damage. I wanted to help my fellow Americans and my fellow New Yorkers. That's why I did it. My name is Rudy. I'm a clinical pharmacist, a first responder on 9-11. And a, Muslim. a series of newly released no, PSA not. show first responders so first to September 11th who are also Muslim. I'm a New York City firefighter and I responded to 9-11 and I am a Muslim. We want to express with the message of the PSAs today that Muslims aren't foreign, uh, that we are part of America too and that 9-11 hit all of us hard. He stood with the ACLU denouncing hate against people simply because of their faith. Although we are very much against censorship and we believe that people um, have the right to say things even when they are hateful and offensive, um, we also have at the same time an obligation to speak out against these uh, repulsive forms of bigotry and religious hatred. CARE calls them Islamophobes and says they're exploiting unfounded fears. The idea is that we want to clear up any misinformation that there is about Islam uh, and that uh, we do not allow those who are, um, you know, considered fringe elements to speak for us. Their message instead is a call for mutual understanding. Tanya Arja, Fox 13 News. Now, CARE tells us there really have been no problems in the Bay Area as far as retaliation. But still, they are urging everybody in our community to keep their eyes open for any potential problems.